Have you ever fallen? The kind of fall that thrusts you into a pit of despair and leaves you scratching your head as you ponder, how in the world did my life end up here? Life is full of a stumble here, a stub toe there, the kind of thing you just brush off, get up, and continue on business as usual. But have you ever noticed that in doing so, nothing changes and you find yourself right back in the same spot? We all fall. I certainly have. And one day I fell so hard, I didn't know how to get back up. As if someone had held their finger on the delete button of my life, it was all gone in an instant. There went that perceived happy ever after. This time I couldn't ignore my fall. I was mad. The real question was, who was I actually mad at? I blamed a lot of people. Have you ever thrown yourself a pity party? Because I did. I sustained myself on adrenaline, coffee, and Marlboro Red with a turbo-sized dose of feeling sorry for myself. Hello? No wonder things weren't getting better. But I had a toddler to think about, and he reminded me that this wasn't all about me. It was time to choose, pity party or bust. It's what we do when we're down that counts. When I picked up a mirror, I realized there was no one to blame other than the victim staring right back at me. The way out of this mess was right in front of me. One word, accountability. It wasn't easy to swallow, but I soon learned that I had played an active role in everything that had manifested in my life. The good, the bad, and even the very ugly. This is where the real work began. And with one candle, one green juice, an inspirational book, a session with a life coach, therapist, energy healer, one anything at a time, my seeking became insatiable. Are you totally on fire? If not, ask yourself why. This is your big, beautiful life. It's time to get accountable. When we shift, the world shifts with us. Reconnect to that inner voice and open your eyes to the magnificent gifts sprinkled around you. Get back in the driver's seat and design the life that you want. Now we're talking happy ever after.